Greetings and welcome, Dragon Slayers, to another episode of Let's Play Divinity 2 The Developer's Cut. Right, when last we left off, I was confounded with the secret button that opens up this particular place. I had to look up where it was. It wasn't quite as obvious as I thought it would be. Uh, let's see, it's this wall. It's down here. And you can sort of make out that this this stone is a little bit different from the rest, but you know, I'll admit that's very well hidden. But the loot is still mine. Yeah, I do appreciate that somewhat from the uh, developers here. That uh, all but illegible scribble. All right, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, at least we don't uh, have to apply moon logic to find stuff. It's usually hidden in a way that makes sense, even if it is uh, very devilishly hidden. Oh, well, we have stuff to find and to lockpick. A crystal that is important for some reason. Shiny. But I don't remember why. Alright, so anything else here? Just a chest with some gems. Mind you, I'm not entirely sure which things are important and which are not to keep. Because I don't fully remember all the recipes for the various enchantments and, and uh, potions. So we have to play it by ear a little bit. At least until I can find an enchanter, which so far I have not. But in any case, we are done here. Alright, so what to do next? I think I've pretty much got all the hearts, so I might as well just go hand them in. I found a journal hidden in Father Jackson's cellar. Call killed the man and buried him on his farm. I should give this information to guard Captain Rodney or uh, directly or confront Carl. Well, I can do either, but I will think I'll play it within the law here. Considering what I might be doing later, that I might, I probably want to be on uh, these people's good sides. And besides which, I prefer not to take the law into my own hands just yet. Or ever. Maybe. We'll see. What is? I'm just playing a game here. Having fun, you know. The usual. Alright, so Captain Rodney would be inside. You can also hand in that quest for the uh, the um, thingy. Wanted the following menaces. Claim your rewards from Captain Rodney. You walk away. Yeah, right. I need to hand it him directly. Well, let's do that. What brings you back to the barracks again, friend? Well, I killed Hjalmar. Here is his mask. Well done. Here is your reward, Slayer. Remember, there is more gold to be earned if you manage to eliminate those other outlaws too. Yay. Um, gonna go um, with the, let's see, potions. Fine, I'll, I'll take the extra. That. Which already brings us halfway up. Back to the barracks again, friend. K 
Captain, you should take a look at this journal. What's this? Farmer Jackson's diary. Why did you bring this to me? I do like the second option here, but let's not be a total ass. Here, read this passage. By the divine. Carl, a murderer? Then I have no choice but to arrest him. You just solved a ten-year-old murder case, Slayer. I'm impressed and grateful. Why would I ever want the chicken leg? Oh well. Alright, so let's go follow him. Alright, well, we can come back to Carl later. Let's hand in those uh, goblin hearts because, well, there's really no need for me to hold on to them. Although I might want to squeeze a little bit more money out of this. Ah, you're back. What news? I carved out some goblin hearts for you. Good show. Let's have them. Here you go. And here's your money. I'd spend it on drinking girls, but that's just a suggestion. Now, hold on a second, I could get more gold for these in Alaroth. A lot more. Where did you hear that? All right, all right, I'll pay you in full. Well, hunting goblins isn't the most exciting of jobs. How about we go after bigger game? The goblin hearts are the most lucrative, but I do have another scheme in mind, if you're up for it. Continue. See, Rivertown is struck by a famine. But Adaloth isn't doing much better. Well, damn the bellies in Rivertown, I say. They can starve in agony, for all I care. Adaloth is my responsibility. But that blasted new order only has eyes for that two-bit town. They've been collecting food here all week. Right, so... I have to decide who I like more. Hmm. Well... <clears throat> I'm not going to decide who receives food and who doesn't. New Order will provide for Alaroth in the end. I'll go down to Jackson's farm myself and bust the head of every seeker that stands in my way. Yeah, you do that. All right. Um. Yeah, let's keep pumping into strength. Still nothing improved here. All right, so I should really pick for go for the convenience skills first. I mean, I want to go for that and all, but that can happen at any point later anyway, considering there's still a lot of game to go. And I do remember there was a chest I couldn't lockpick in uh, this particular hiding place before. I only chose that particular option with Rich because I really don't like him. But there's absolutely nothing stopping you from going with him. I don't think there's actually a particular downside to it either, so it is just a personal choice for me. But we are running out of quests to do. So We'll have to come around to do something a little bit more interesting, I guess. Right, I was sure there was something here that I could not lockpick. 
and it worked and we got a bow out of it not the most interesting bits of loot but you know I'll take it that sounds like drums but most likely it's just something that got a piece of uh, do that that got unstuck somewhere and it's just bouncing around because of the physics modeling best not to think about it too much all right let's head over to jackson farm to see all the fun stuff that's happening there We heard you expose Carl's dirty little secret. I bet Captain Rodney was grateful. Yeah, they sure was. Seekers, this food belongs to Richard of Alaroth. How dare you demand these supplies, champion? They fall under new order jurisdiction. Slayer, try and talk some sense into this madman's head. Hmm. All right, so the only option is either to let those guys die or to let Richard die. He'll answer to violence only, I think. Let's not disappoint him. You made your last mistake, Slayer. I'll show you all what the champions are made of. prevails once again. You fought well. Thank you, Slayer. Coming from you, that's quite a compliment. We'll return to our guard stations now. Always on duty. Yay. Did it New Order or Champion Chaos? Alright, let's see. Well, just... Pile on the experience points. Ooh, some earrings. And let's also eat something. Yeah, some bread. My skills gain the boost. Put that into vitality. Yep. Still nothing truly spectacular, but that's fine. Alright, these earrings. Yeah, let's just equip them. Hmm. Yeah, there's no point in equipping that other stuff. Don't have any other rings I could use. I don't think I have better swords yet. I mean, no, my current weapon is still better. Uh, 
that, so closed quests. Pretty sure I sold all, all of them already. Oh well, and let's just hear this interaction as well. I am here to arrest you. Arrest me? What's all this then? You botched up the perfect crime by writing about it in your diary, you fool. My diary? How did you... Oh no, this can't be... Come along now, Carl. You'll have to spend a few years in a cell. More than enough time to reflect on your stupidity. Well, at least he comes without a fight, which is, you know, reasonably good of him. Uh, poor Mouse. He'll never get his uh, wish to be out of this particular area. If he's still here. Yeah, it's over here, Rosny. Oh, he's gone. Oh well. A little bit less whinging, I suppose. Because, <laughs> yeah, if you side with Richard, you'll get the pill for those goods. Mouse will steal them away to Alroth. Uh, and this might have an effect upon something that happens way later in the game when we get to Riverton, but um, for now that's not really a concern. Because we are not anywhere close to that yet. Heck, we're not even out of the starting valley. Uh, now, the next quest wouldn't actually be here, but I kind of want to check up on the uh, blacksmith and his new lady conquest Oh slayer what a wonderful day it is my my aren't we suddenly perky nothing like a little loving to see the bright side of life isn't that so no, i have to go i have to get back to work well, at least he's happier, and will also give me a discount, I believe. Because of that. Poor Carl. Why did this happen? I never wanted it so. Alright, uh, I probably shouldn't blame her for this. I discovered he was a murderer, Dana. I had to act. I suppose you had to, but... Poor Carl. Why did this happen? I never wanted it so. Why have you come here, Dana? I love Dirk. We've been having a relationship for almost a year now. With poor Carl in prison, there was no reason to stay at the farm alone. I just hope I'll be happier again. So why cry for him when you're with Dirk now? I wanted to leave him, but I didn't wish him this horrid fate. I deserved the prison. Uh, but you know, I guess I can't fault her for being a little bit like that. It's just too big a heart, I suppose. Sentimental nonsense. Oh well, just loot everything then. Looks like I'm not getting in. All right, so there's a key around here somewhere then. If I was Dirk, where would I hide the key? Probably still somewhere obvious. And I'm not seeing the telltale shimmer of a uh, hidden item. I'll take 
with gold though. He might be outside. But that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.